Hi everyone, welcome to a new ship stability question from Captain Subramanian's Ship Stability Series 1. This is exercise 5, question number 15. It's an unsolved question in the book, so I thought I will solve it for your benefit. So, a vessel is uh, having a statutory freeboard of 2 meter. I will explain what that means. And she is loading in dock water of relative density 1.015 and her freeboard is 2.1 meter. The TPC provided is 24 and freshwater allowance is 200 millimeter. And you have to find her dead weight which is available in dock water density of relative density 1.015. Now these little things are not mentioned to you so you have to understand uh, how you have to find that right so the dock water the the dead weight available is to be found for relative density 1.015 the tpc and the freshwater allowance given to you is for sea water density 1.025 now these little things are not mentioned in the question the um, you are expected to understand that what is statutory freeboard statutory freeboard is your summer freeboard in dock in relative density 1.025 so this means that currently your vessel is in relative, your vessel is in relative density 1.015 and you are having a free boat so let's say there's a deck line here deck line deck line to water level you are having a free boat of 2.1 meter now from here you will be going into the sea water density of 1.025 sea water density 1.025 and your free boat is 2 meter that is your statutory free board in seawater 1.025 now that means that you can sink the vessel by how much sink gauge currently allowed so you have a higher free board in dock water 1.05 so you can sink the vessel and reduce the free board to 2 meter right so 2.1 meter minus 2 meter is 0 0.100 meters now if i want to convert this into centimeters what do i do i just have to multiply it by 100 which is equal to 10 centimeters now why do i need to convert it into centimeters because towards the end i will multiply this sinkage allowed by tpc which stands for tons per centimeter of immersion so i can either leave it here at millimeter and do it at the end or i can straight away do it it's up to me all right so this is the sinkage currently allowed to reduce the free board to your statutory free board however because but vessel will rise as it goes from 1.015 to 1.025 why is that because as the density increases what happens to the draft the draft decreases it's a inverse relationship so draft decreases means vessel will rise right as the water gets saltier so how much is this rise going to be by dock water allowance is the rise of the vessel which is equal to fresh water allowance multiplied by 1.025 minus dock water density whatever it is in this question divided by 0 0.025 which is a constant so here the dock water dense fresh water allowance is 200 millimeter 1.025 is a constant of course again dock water density is 1.015 divided by 0 0.025 which gives you a dock water allowance of 80 millimeter now i am getting the answer in millimeter because i have used fresh water allowance in millimeter so i can convert this into centimeter by dividing it by 10 which gives me 8 centimeters so i can write 80 millimeter or 8 centimeters so total sinkage required total sinkage required is how much is the previous sinkage 10 centimeters plus rise due to draft 8 centimeters so 18 centimeters is the sinkage required so currently the vessel has a free board of 2.1 meter it has to be reduced to 2 meter so there we get 10 centimeters allowance of sinkage and then vessel will rise because of change in density so i get 8 centimeters more of 
sinkage required so total sinkage required is 18 centimeters i can sink the vessel by 18 centimeters so normally all i have to do is to find dead weight available i have to multiply tpc by sinkage required all right so here the tpc given to me is for salt water so i have to convert this into dock water tpc so how do i do that so remember tpc and density so the dens the tpc given to me 24 is for density 1.025 so what is the tpc and i will call this uh, x for 1.015 so all you have to do is just cross multiply so x multiplied by 1.025 equals 24 multiplied by 1.015 or x equals take this to the other side becomes division so 24 multiplied by 1.015 divided by 1.025 which gives you a tpc of 23.77 now 23.77 is the tpc in dock water 1.015 all right so dead weight available in this case is nothing but sinkage required so how much cargo can i load to sink the vessel by 18 centimeters 18 multiplied by 23.77 which is the tpc in dock water gives me 427.8 tons so this is the available cargo or weight that i can load on my ship to sink the vessel in such a way that when it goes to sea water the statutory freeboard is two meters all right uh, please like comment share subscribe share with your fellow seafarers watch the video multiple times if you don't get it in the first go 